Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the different types of coupons and some of the various forms of coupons that we reference mostly in our videos and breakdowns, just so you can be a little bit more familiar and how they work. So if you are new here, welcome. I help out with ways to save money. And one way is through coupons. There are various forms of coupons that we do use. So I'm just going to break it down for you and show you exactly what they're called and how you can utilize them. The paper coupons that we refer to as insert coupons. Um, these are manufacturer coupons that come from the manufacturer and can be used at any store that carries this product and accepts coupons. So as you can see, it says manufacturer coupon right there at the top. That lets you know that's a manufacturer coupon. You can also print coupons that are manufacturer coupons. Um, a lot of times it is from coupons.com or Lozo. And there are some other ways you can print, usually from their website, the company's website. So this is what a printable coupon would look like. And we do refer to these as IPs, internet printables. Uh, these work just the same as any manufacturer's coupon. And as you can see, it says it right there at the top. Another form of a manufacturer coupon is the Catalina coupons that print off. These are manufacturer coupons as well. Although it does say redeemable at a certain store such as this one it says Rite Aid you can use it where other stores accept coupons. Um, every now and again you'll get a cashier that is confused by it and won't accept it. Uh, they just are unaware that they can use it at their store. We have these ones as well and then another form is one of these hang tags this is called a hang tag but there are other forms uh, like pillies or tear pads those are all out there usually you find them in the store on a product and these are also manufacturer coupons so you have to use those all the same and here's another form of a manufacturer coupon that came from a catalina machine so manufacturer coupons can be stacked with any type of store coupon. So that is another form is called a store coupon. I don't have any store coupons to show you, but every now and again, you'll see a coupon. And for instance, at Rite Aid, instead of it saying manufacturer coupon and having a barcode like this, it'll say a uh, Rite Aid and then R, it will start with RA and things like that. So that's how you know that those ones are store coupons. Another Catalina um, that is considered a store coupon are these purchase based coupons, also known as threshold coupons. These are exclusive to the store and they can be used with manufacturer coupons. So the manufacturer coupons do not affect Rite Aid store coupons or any other Rite, uh, store coupon. It doesn't necessarily have to be Rite Aid. Um, some other stores do offer coupons like this that can be stacked with manufacturer coupons. We also have what's called digital coupons. Depending on the store you're shopping at, they may have an app where you can load digital coupons to your account. And when you check out, you can enter your phone number associated with that account or rewards number, whatever the store asks you to provide, and then whatever digital coupons you have loaded to your account or if they're automatically loaded would apply to your transaction. So for Rite Aid, we do have coupons here and they're called digital coupons. We also refer to them as L2C, which stands for load to card. I don't hear it as often as I used to hear it, but a lot of people do refer to these as digital coupons. So the thing with digital coupons is it does affect your spend total when you're using a store coupon such as a Catalina or the 5 off of 25 or 5 off 15. Those uh, threshold coupons, the digital coupons, although they are manufacturer coupons, they do affect your total. So you want to make sure if you're utilizing this 
11 off of 55 and then you're going to apply this $3 off of 2 Colgate coupon, your total needs to be $58 so that once that digital coupon comes off, you're still at 55 for them to scan this and this comes the $11 will come off then. But if you try to use this and you don't have enough, this will knock off your digital coupon. The Catalina or Threshold coupon will knock off any digitals if you don't have enough in your transaction to cover it. Another store coupon that we have are what we call boosters, and that is when you earn money back for spending a certain amount. We just had a spend 40 and earn $10 in bonus cash. The digital coupons, the printable coupons, the threshold coupons do not affect that in any way whatsoever. Another form of coupon you'll receive are home mailers and email coupons that are specific to your account. Not necessarily specific to one account, but it, meaning you can only use it one time per account. If you receive a email with a birthday or anniversary coupon giving you 10 off of 40, that can only be used one time. Once that barcode is scanned, it is done. There's no more scanning it. Even if you had to try to do a return and then re-ring everything up, that would not work. Here's what that coupon would look like when it comes into your email. And so I just wanted to show you an example of that specific one that I'm referring to. These are the home mailers that I'm referring to. A lot of people do ask, how do I get these sent to my account? There's nothing you do. Just make sure that your address is on file on your account. It's accurate and you should receive these at random. It, it really varies. Um, I haven't seen a pattern with my accounts to really know when they send them. They just randomly pop up in my mailbox. These specific store coupons on these products can be stacked with manufacturer coupons. As far as receiving them in your emails, you do want to make sure your communication preferences do not have emails opted out. You could try to go through the app, but I haven't found much success with getting to what I need to get to in the app. If you can go to your browser, go to writeaid.com and log into your account there. In your account settings, you will see a way you can opt in or out. And then just make sure your email address, of course, is updated and you should receive some email coupons periodically. One for your birthday, one for the anniversary of the date that you signed up for Rite Aid. Um, and then just other emails here and there that people receive at random. Last but not least, of course, we have rebate apps, and a lot of you are familiar with these, but if you're not, here are just a few that I use, some of them more than others. I have Checkout 51, Fetch, Ibotta, Swagbooks, Shopkick, and Coupons.com is no longer existent. This phone hasn't updated yet. I have replaced Coupons.com with Shopium. You do hear me mention Shopium a lot. I will pull that up in a moment to show you, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you each rebate app. Checkout 51, they don't have a whole lot going on anymore. They used to, but basically you would choose the item you wanna earn the rebate on. You would add the, add the offer and just make sure you always read because they do limit to various stores at times. Sometimes you have to get it from a certain store if you plan to. Um, pick up the item. Once the offer is selected after you shop and you have your receipt, you just redeem it just like you do any other rebate app. You would just select that you purchased the five and you will go through and submit your receipt and then it'll go to your PayPal account. Here is where you can even get uh, money back on your gas. So for instance, uh, down the street from me is 22 cents a gallon. I can get back if I get gas there. You just have to click on it and then you need to add the offer and you have to do it within four hours and then you'll submit your receipt and you'll get the cash back from doing that. 
Next is Fetch. If you're not already aware, Fetch is a rebate app where you scan your receipts in and you get points that you can then convert to gift cards. And they do have special offers on certain brands at certain times. So if you specifically went for some of these offers, you would get more points. But if you just uh, submit your receipt, you just get a minimal amount of points, at least 25 points. Every 10 points is almost one cent. So it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it does add up over time. As you can see, this I this one I have 28,000 points and then I'll show you what the rewards look like. If I go to cash out on the rewards, you select this button here to get to your rewards and then you can choose based off of how many you have. So of course I would wait till I'm at 30K at that point. These are just some of my options that I can cash in for. Um, I usually like to go for Amazon. So for the <clears throat> 28,000 points that I have, I can get a $25 gift card, but there are other items that cost less points to get a little bit more if you decided to go that route. Ibotta is one of the best ones because they have a lot of offers and bonuses. I don't believe I'm logged in on this one, but I just want to give you a general overview. So you basically do the same thing. You choose your diff your store first off and then, oh, it's not going to let me do that, but you would choose your store, uh, select the offer that you want to do, and then you would uh, submit your receipt by redeeming. They'll put the money into your Ibotta. Once you reach $20, you can cash it out to your bank account or to, I think they can do PayPal as well. And there are also is bonuses here that helps you get more money back when you complete a certain amount of rebates, you get an additional bonus. So if you are not already aware of how Ibotta works, definitely sign up. I'm leaving the link in the description. You can sign up and check it out. It's well worth it. There are a lot of rebates on things that we buy anyway, so we we'll may as well get some money back for it. We have Swag Bucks and Shopkick. Those are pretty much the same. Go in and you scan your receipt on certain items and then you get points and then you can convert them to a gift card. So no need to go into each and every one, but if you don't already have the app, you can download it, play with it, see what options there are for you and then you can go for it especially if you shop at walmart these cater to walmart a lot more than they do Rite aid last one is shopmium i'm really loving shopmium lately they do have a lot of offers uh, basically you'll just select the offer you want to do the only thing i don't like is their setup here you can't see what they're offering until you click on it and once you click on it, then you can see the dollar back when you buy two for the rice aroni. And then if you scroll down, it tells you um, specifically the details of what you have to do to get this rebate. And if there are any limita limitations, it would be here as well. Now you do have to make sure you activate it first. So you click on the plus sign, it's activated. Then you redeem by selecting this and then as you can see you just follow these steps to get your cash back this does go to your paypal account if you don't already have a paypal account and you're wanting to coupon more i would suggest you create one it is free and a lot of these rebate apps work best with paypal and then you can also get a paypal card to pay for some of your purchases in the store if you ever have an out-of-pocket that you need to cover so that is something you really should consider if you're wanting to coupon more. But as you can see, there are a lot of different offers. And the great thing is if there's a digital coupon in your store, uh, for instance, if you have the Nature Valley digital coupon on your store account and you use and you bought four of these items, the 50 cents off of two would come off the first two in the store and then you can submit for the other two um, to the app and redeem the other 50 cents. So it kind of gives you a little bit uh, more to work with when you're utilizing Shopmium as well. And then a lot of the digital coupons that are in our store account uh, will be on Shopmium.
One thing to keep in mind, if you are planning to submit to Shopmium, if you are shopping at Rite Aid, it is best to have the cashier scan the item that you're going to submit to Shopmium for last because anything that you scan first, these threshold coupons that, such as the 5 off of 25 and the Catalinas, they tend to attach to the first items that were scanned. So that way it frees it up on your receipt and shop, it doesn't look like you already used a coupon when Shopmium goes to review your receipt. If it looks like there's a coupon used, they will reject your receipt. Sometimes if it is a store coupon, you can um, ask them to review it and let them know it's a store coupon. It's not a manufacturer coupon for that item and they have issued it for me in the past so if it does happen it's okay there's still a way to work around that and also i have submitted my digital receipt that has gone to my email to shopmium and they have accepted it here's a look at what the digital receipt looks like and what i do is i screenshot this page here and for an iphone it does allow you to screenshot the whole page which will then save it as a PDF and when you go to upload it onto Shopmium, it does allow you to upload a PDF and it works perfectly fine. So I took a screenshot and as you can see at the top, there's a screen and full page. So I would select full page and it'll break it out for me and give me the full page. Sorry, I don't want anybody to see my personal information. So you can see here at the on the sides, those are the PDFs. Then you would just hit the save button here, save it to your files, and then that's where you would upload from when you do submit in Shopmium. So we're back in Shopmium. I'm going to show you um, after you go to submit your receipt, you just hit su submit my proof of purchases, and here is, gonna, is where it's going to allow you to choose from these three options. Take a photo, upload from files. If you do the PDF, you'll go uh, you'll utilize your files and then the upload from gallery would be if you took a previous picture and you wanted to use that. That is an overview of coupons, digital coupons and rebates. So I hope some of that information was helpful. I know when you're new, there are a lot of different ways you can use coupons and it can be a little bit confusing. So I wanted to clear up some of those for some of you that may be learning the ropes and hopefully this kind of gives you some understanding. All right, everyone, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.